Everything has a price, even success. And in this video, I'm going to give you some sacrifices that you have to make. You have to make if you want to be successful, especially financially. And by the end of this video, you will have a framework, a blueprint of exactly what it takes to reach to the pinnacle, the top of whatever it is that you want to reach. So stick around, watch till the end of the video, because you're going to need this if you want to be successful. My name is Adrian. This is Always Top Money. We make new videos every single week to help you with personal finance, investing, and anything else that can help you level up financially. If that sounds good to you, give a like for the YouTube algorithm, subscribe, become part of the family. We make new videos, as I said, like this every single week. Now, let's get into the video. Now, if you've watched a couple of my videos, you know I always talk about delayed gratification, and it's so important, right? Because one of the best sacrifices that you can make for success is sacrificing whatever you want to buy today and wait till tomorrow. So many people can't wait till Friday before they start spending that paycheck. And oftentimes, a lot of times, people will have spent the paycheck before it actually hits their bank accounts because they have their shopping carts full, they're using Klarna and Afterpay and all these other types of things. They're using credit cards, which you know I don't do credit cards, right? All these things that are robbing them of future wealth. If you want to be successful, especially with money, you have to sacrifice buying whatever it is that you want today. I don't know a single successful person that was always impulsively spending their money before they got to where they wanted to get to. And on top of that, that leads me into my second sacrifice that you must make, and that is the company you keep. You have to be around the right people, the right people with the right mindset if you want to be successful. You have to have a network of individuals who know that you are on a mission that will encourage you to that mission. You don't want people that are gonna encourage you to go out, to go drink, to spend money when you're trying to stay on budget when you're trying to level up, when you're trying to reach financial independence, you have to get away from those people. I leveled up when I got away from people who are not productive to me. And they're going to say you changed. They're going to say you're mean. They're going to say, oh, you're not like you used to be. Oh, well, you don't want to be your old self because you know what your old self was? Broke. Do you want to be broke? No. So you have to get away from those people because those people are energy vampires and they love to do this one thing which leads into my third sacrifice and that is mindless entertainment. You always have to be feeding your mind positive things, things that will educate you, things that will get you towards your goal. Sacrificing mindless entertainment should be an easy sacrifice to make. Scrolling on TikTok, scrolling on Instagram, arguing on X or Twitter or whatever they wanna call it, right? You don't need to do that stuff. I do not waste one iota of energy on things that does not push me forward into my life. Do I like entertainment? Yes, but I have a specific time period that I consume entertainment. But most people, what they do is they get home from work and instead of working on that side hustle, instead of working on that knowledge, they sit on their couch and they turn on Netflix, they turn on the game, they turn on the game shows, whatever it is to just mindlessly distract themselves from the reality of their life that sucks. Guys, if this video is bringing you value so far, please leave a like for the YouTube algorithm, subscribe, become part of the family. We make new videos like this every single week. Now, we've all heard the saying, the early bird gets the worm. And you know what that means? It means you need to get up, get off your butt, and start working, start working on your future. Sacrifice those late nights and sleeping until noon, especially on the weekend. Don't do that anymore. You work Monday through Friday, you work so hard, so diligent, you're waking up at 6 a.m. to go to a job, to a boss that you are making rich, but you won't wake up at 6 a.m. for yourself. You won't wake up at 6 a.m. for your family. You won't wake up at 6 a.m. for your financial future. Like, what are you doing? Do not sleep in late. Do not spend all Friday night out drinking, partying with the boys, and so on and so forth. I promise you, if you do all of these sacrifices that I'm saying, and you lock in for three, five years, you'll be way ahead financially of all your loser buddies that you love to hang around with. You don't want their life. I know you want to do better. That's why you clicked on this video. That's why you are watching me right now. You want to do better. You want to have money. You want to be financially independent. And that's what this channel is all about. And again, those people, those people have this particular trait that I do not like, especially in today's society. And that is complainers. 
Sacrifice being a complainer. Sacrifice blaming others for your circumstances. You are responsible for your own future. It doesn't matter whatever circumstances you came from, you can overcome them. Why? Because you have seen countless examples of other people making it in life, making it to the top, with worse circumstances that you have started with, right? You're watching a guy who moved to America at 16, didn't go to college, had to teach himself a lot of things that he knows, and doesn't speak the greatest, best American English for YouTube audiences, right? You hear me misspeak all the time. I mispronounce words all the time. My accent is a little bit funky, but I am not going to make that be what my circumstances are. I'm going to take responsibility for my own life from my own circumstances and I'm going to push forward regardless because I know what the vision of my life is and I know what the future holds for me because I'm going to create it. Create your own future. Don't blame anyone else. And part of creating your own future is taking risks. And now you have to sacrifice. Stop being so scared. A lot of people, many, many people, 99% of people, they are scared. They are scared of taking risks. They are scared of betting on themselves. They have low confidence, low self-esteem. And so they will go through their whole life never trying anything. You know what happens at the end of life? They have so many regrets because they never tried that thing that they wanted to try. I'm here to tell you right now, your fears are holding you back. You could be so much greater if you just believed in yourself, dropped the fear. And some of that fear is coming from other people telling you, oh, you can't do that thing. Oh, it's not going to work out. Oh, that's a stupid idea. Don't let those people put that fear in your mind. If you believe in your heart and your soul that you can do this thing, then you can do this thing. But I have to put a word of caution in there. Don't be unrealistic. You have to know what your own limitations are, right? So don't go for get rich quick schemes or other types of easy money ideas. Sacrifice those unrealistic goals. Be grounded in your knowledge. Be grounded in the direction that you want to go. I know if you watch my channel, you'll see other channels on YouTube promise you we can make $900 a day, $3,500 a day, easy money, make money online, things of that nature. And I'm here to tell you that's not how the world works. You have to work hard. You have to work smart. You have to work diligent. Is it possible to make $900 a day? Yes, I have done it, but it took a lot of hard work and it took a lot of time to set up certain systems for me to be able to do that. You are never going to make $900, $500, $10,000 a day as a complete beginner jumping off the couch and just jumping into a new industry, a new thing that you can do online and just be successful. It just does not work like that. And if people have done it, then that is complete luck. On this channel, I try to teach you realism, but also mix that in with the little bit of delusion that you do need to push forward because you do need a little bit of delusion to overcome your fear, as I said in the previous point. But overall, don't try to reinvent the wheel. Don't try to do too much. Don't go into some crypto scheme that's going to scam you of your money. The S&P 500, the regular markets, they are there. By the way, if you don't know anything about investing, my very, very good investing guide is in the description down below. It will show you everything you need to know about investing in ETFs and it will get you on your way. Trust me, I use it and it's great in my opinion. Now, one of the ways I see people get scammed all the time, and that's because they don't have a beginner's mindset. They jump into things thinking that it's going to be easy. They jump into things thinking they can accomplish it in 30 days, a month, even a year, right? When I started YouTube, I thought that I would be at a certain point in one year, right? And I was nowhere near that goal. But you know what? I had the realistic goals to understand that I didn't hit my goals in one year because I'm naturally ambitious, but I'm still going to push forward. I'm still going to make videos because this is something that I have a passion for. It comes easy to me, quite frankly, right? I don't use a script. I just have certain bullet points and everything I'm saying is off the top of the head. That's why I misspeak sometimes. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below if I'm doing a good job speaking off the top of the head. But Adopt a beginner's mindset. When you adopt a beginner's mindset, you humble yourself. When you humble yourself, you take your time. You look at all the details. You try to match up the facts. You try to make sure everything makes sense. You try to make sure that little bit of delusion that you have is not turning into a big bit of delusion because that's how you get scammed. That's how you get taken for a ride. And that's how oftentimes you trust the wrong people. So make sure you sacrifice 
that ego, adopt a beginner's mindset, and you will be successful. Now, have you ever heard of the term golden handcuffs? And it's a term that's meant to say that your job can keep you trapped because it gives you that level of security that you don't want to leave that job. You don't want to venture out and try your own thing. Well, this is what you have to sacrifice, especially if you want to reach the top of the top. You have to sacrifice that security sometimes, right? Because these jobs will lead you to believe that you are safe, you are secure. But when a recession hits, you get laid off, you get fired, and you get moved to a branch that you don't even want to move to. You have to work with Sally and you don't even like Sally like that, right? So you have to sometimes take that risk, take that chance, and don't let that nine to five put you in these golden handcuffs. Now, that's not to say everybody's supposed to come out here and be an entrepreneur, a businessman, or a businesswoman, but that could mean move out of your city. That could mean move out of your current role, try going for a new role, try going for a new industry, try changing careers, right? That doesn't necessarily mean you have to go out on your own, but a lot of times I see people, they get stuck in jobs. I consult with people, right? And I tell them, sometimes you have to make more money because all the saving, investing, and budgeting you're doing, it's just not going to work if you make more money. But you're like, oh, I'm so loyal to my company. They gave me a job when I didn't have one. Okay, but that was 10 years ago. And in 10 years, you've barely gotten a raise. You are the definition of golden handcuffs. You need to go to a different company that values your current level of talent to a higher paycheck, right? So you have to let that go. And the final point I'm going to leave you with is to stop sacrificing free time and use that for productive time. If you are not where you want to be in life, and that doesn't mean you have to try to strive for $1 million, $100 million, $10,000 million, that's not even a number. But the point I'm trying to make is if you are not where you want to be, if John is not where he wants to be, if Sally is not where she wants to be, if Marcus is not where he wants to be, then you have to do everything in your power to get to where you want to be. So when you have that job and then you are off work, sacrifice that free time for productive time to work on the things that's going to get you to where you want to be. Everybody's personal finance journey is different. Everybody's goals and dreams are different. If you want to have a nice farm out in the country and live in the homestead life, every day that you are not working towards that goal, every time you are using free time, not working productively towards that goal, you are wasting your time. If you want to live in a high rise and be a bachelor and make a lot of money, Every day that you are not working towards that goal, you are wasting your time. If you want to build businesses and be a millionaire and a billionaire, every day you are not working towards that goal, you are wasting your time. We only have one life to live, guys, and we need to be working towards our goals, whatever it is. And, you know, this channel is focusing on finances. So I'm trying to get you guys to level up and reach your financial goals. Check out all my links in the description down below, whether you want a budgeting ebook, a money management ebook, getting out of debt ebook, because you know I don't like debt, as well as sign up for the weekly newsletter. I send it out every single Friday to give you just even more content to help you level up financially. With that being said, this was great. I hope you have a great day. I hope you got some value. Like the video, subscribe, become part of the family. I want you here. I want you here. I hope you have a good day and I will see you in the next one. Peace.